let's talk about this for a second. I want y'all to really pay attention to this because this blew my mind as I've been talking about and teaching on manifestation. Here we go. Perspective that you're sitting from, is it beneficial for everyone around or is it not? There's something that has to build up and there's something that needs to tear it down. Mm -hmm. You know, what we call the tearing of it down, we call that, we call it evil or bad, but that's the process of magnetism mm -hmm. or radiation. Radiation tears apart that which was uh, concentrically brought together through electric, through electric potential and electric. So radiation is the process through which the atomic particles and subatomic particles that are drawn together, which I've always considered as magnetism in the electrical field, right? Because opposites, you know, polar opposites draw and polar opposites are the same thing, the same frequency, just a different octave or the, uh, you know, the opposing side. So when I say to you that opposites don't attract, it's truly the same thing that attracts, it's just the polar opposite, two sides of the same coin. That's what I mean by that, right? But interesting for him to say that it's magnetism and radiation, he puts the two together. I don't know if he ever thoroughly explains that anymore, but he says they're the same thing because electricity, and, and if you think about it, anything that's electrical seeks to just, it seeks to get into the, it, it, wa it, it wants to get to a source, right? It wants to get to the strongest point and it's drawn into this very strong center or vortex of a, a magnetic or electromagnetic field. We're going to go further, but, but, but I, wow, this just, it started blowing my mind. Here we go. Of course, electricity is always seeking a higher pressure condition, trying to get to the center of the apex, whereas magnetism is spinning southwest and trying to get out. And But the magnetism is necessary because unless it, it broke apart that which was connected together, you would never have any new material to rebuild again. Unless you allow it to tear itself, unless you break it apart, you're never going to have any new material to rebuild again. I want you to grab that for just one second. This is the reason why we do shadow work. This is the reason why we go deep within and we tear down everything that was built prior. This is the reason why I continue to challenge you, why you challenge yourself, and while I'm sure others are challenging you as well, to tear down belief systems and structures that you currently hold or that you've held on to for some of us for decades. For some of us for centuries and millennia as we keep on reincarnating with the same vibrations that we keep in reincarnating with the same karma. We keep reincarnating with the same programs. We keep, you know, time after time after time and we don't like release it like each go around, right? But we'll just talk about this lifetime for right now. So when we're in this space, right? If you do not tear things down, there is no new space for anything to get rebuilt. So we have to radiate, we have to release, we have to let these things go. Why? So that you, the whole process of manifestation and creation is this. You have an idea, a vision, a thought, it comes in, you create this in your imagination, just like a writer creates a character. This is good. Y'all got to pay attention here. This is good. Just like a writer creates a character. Y'all give me some likes on these. On Give me some likes on Facebook, on Welcome Facebook. Hey, Julia, how are you? I love him as well. Um, on Facebook, on YouTube. Give me some likes over here on Rumble um help us get this out into the algorithm this is a really important conversation to have so when we're in the process of creation we create a character in our brain i didn't see this till just now so y'all follow along with me just like he said a few seconds ago that the writer that he takes on the essence of this character he allows the character to inhabit himself, 
And the body that he's carrying around is just the clothing for the character. So there could be a new character over and over and over again, but the body is different. Okay. I mean, the body's the same, but the character on the inside is different. So just like these writers write a character that comes from their imagination, so should you be creating a character for you to play like a new role same body now if you want to change your body too from what i hear i think it's 282 or 285 i'll tell you look up the frequency to lose weight there is a frequency that helps your body process fat and lose weight i kid you not i just started listening to it i'll let you know as soon as i keep on dropping this here these here pals child but anyway So, there is a character that your imagination then creates that's going to live out this new life, that's going to live out this new, have better relationships, uh, entrepreneurial opportunities, a better job, a better this, a better that, whoop de bam boom thank you, ma'am, okay? You're creating a character in your imagination, and you're writing the script, your higher self has already actually, you in conjunction with source you've already actually written out the script but you are spending most of your lifetime now trying to figure out what the heck that was that you wrote down you ever wrote something down somewhere and you wrote it on a piece of paper somewhere and you you know you put a note and you said oh i'm not gonna forget this now i know i ain't the only one and you wrote it down and child i'll be gosh darn if a week later you go back looking for that piece of paper with that darn note you can't find it no well right same thing you wrote this before you came here only now you got to find a note <laughs> okay so what happens is during this time period where we are recreating our new lives our imagination writes out a new script the imagination writes out the script so then when you can really see it then you speak it out right as you speak it out, you begin to you your heart then begins to believe it a little bit more. The more you speak it, the more you believe it. Or when you really get good at it, you can kind of bypass the throat and let it just drop right down into your heart. Then what happens? The heart emits, it sets, it gets emotional. Right? It gets a little Whitney Houston. I get so emotional, right? So it gets emotional, it sends out this energy. But it radiates, y'all. If anybody knows Terrence, and a matter of fact, I'm going to, I am, I'm gonna send this to him. It radiates, because he blessed me so with this here. It radiates energy. And so, what it does as you are radiating and emitting this new frequency of this individual that you have written down here, and now you wish for your body, your being to inhabit it, inhabit it radiates this energy out and destroys everything that's in its path. Why? Because it's got to make room for the new that you are attracting in because you are vibrating at a frequency. That frequency is higher and it's faster. So what does it want? It wants more good stuff. It wants the good stuff that you have imagined. So then you allow this to come in and that new person begins to inhabit you. And that's how you manifest your new life. My God. A. James, how are you? He, as well as Eddie Griffin, speak of this fun fact. Cat William, they're all extra humble witnesses. That's very true. Hey, Spiritual Focus 777, how are you? I'm catching up, guys. Thank you very much. Yes, please hit the like, and we appreciate you. We love you. Please hit that like. Please let people know we're talking about this. Please share this video later on with anybody that you feel like is really going to get blessed by it. This is this is some deep stuff. This is amazing. This is amazing. Yes. Your real new character. Absolutely. So the feeling is the secret. Your emotions, the energy you set in motions, that's deeper than a feeling. I have a feeling about something. 
my spidey senses is tangling. But when I'm emotional about something, when I have assigned a set level of energy to something that I am now going to set my my energy into motion surrounding, now it's more than a feeling. Now I've decided I'm about to create something. Right? Right? All right, here we go.